23 feet was set just before dawn today by Mr. Hans von Stupper, a resident of West Berlin, who was formerly a resident of East Berlin. <laughs> right up until just before dawn today when he broke the world pole vault record. <laughs> In Hollywood today, the rash of May-December marriages reached the ultimate today when it was learned that George Jessel was at the Cedars of Lebanon Hospital awaiting the birth of his new bride. <laughs> and now, take it away, Goldie. And now, with the news of the future, here's Dickie. <laughs> Terrific. Two for Blinchin. <laughs> Cairo, 1988. The Suez Canal finally opened for traffic today. The first truckload of boats leaves tomorrow. <laughs> New York City, 1988. The new version of the Bible with a foreword by Marshall McLuhan Jr. was released today. This 45-page pamphlet includes both the Old and Mod Testaments. <laughs> New York, 1988. Mayor Stokely Carmichael today took a walking tour of the White Ghetto in an effort to prevent another long, cold winter. <laughs> His tour was marred by white militant John Lindsay, who denounced the move as a blatant attempt to sway the white minority. Mayor Carmichael replied, if they don't like it here, we'll ship them back to England where they came from. <laughs> finally, this item, 20 years from now, the Vatican City, 1988. The church today finally approved the use of the pill. The announcement was made by Pope Leroy Jr. His father was not available for comment. His mother, the former sister Mary Catherine, when contacted at Glux Hillside in the Catskills, would, would only say, we like to think of the pill as St. Joseph's aspirin for children. Okay, sports nuts, here's Alan Seuss's sports scene. Hi, Big Al here with the Big Al sports scene. The National Sports Council announced the results of a survey showing the two most popular indoor sports are pool and bowling. Fat lot they know. How does that grab you, sports nuts? 